So I'm, I'm going to show you internal frames how to add them. Uh, this is the URL. And uh, so I need to navigate to, so this uh, link, autocomplete link. This is the internal frame. So that's the internal frame. So this box, this tag serial box is inside the internal frame. So where you can see sir, how we are telling, you can ask, go to so HTML code. And you can see here, uh, this input box, right? This edit box. Just above, you can see there is iframe tag. So what is that? iframe tag is there. So if you want to type here, you need to handle this iframe tag. You need to switch to this iframe tag. You already know how to handle iframes. So iframes can be handled. First, you have to identify the element. Uh, and uh, you need to switch to that uh, iframes. That's the process, right? And uh, so then you type it, navigate back. So I'll type some keyword. Then navigate back. Then click on uh, this accordion link. This uh, here you have to use a browser dot navigate method. You have to use. You should not use a different that program will see completely how to do that. Okay, let's move on to uh, programs. Okay, so even I did a hero gap. Maybe you do this and I'll show you hero gap uh, internal frames. Let me take up this, uh, this browser code. Okay. So here, okay, I have a website and this is the one, internal frames. If you go here, let me show you. Either this one you can try it out, okay? And I'll show you this one quickly. Uh, go to frames, click on frames, internal frames, and uh, uh, you can type here. You can type your content goes here, you can type here. So that's what uh, so we need to see because this one is in the internal frame inside. can see here, iframe tag. So ID is there. You can use ID, identify that, and then switch to that. Then you can type here. So for a typing, you have, so whatever you want, you can type body ID. So there you can type whatever you want, right? So that's how we can uh, type the content. Next, we have, so let's see that, how we can do. The first step always is create a web driver driver global static variable. Web driver wait wait global static variable. In the before all, just launch the Chrome browser, maximize the so window, and add implicit wait, and create an object for wait reference variable. So new up driver wait and driver comma duration dot of milliseconds. Then, oh, okay. So anyhow, I'm using jQuery only. So let me, so anything, just rename this because uh, jQuery test case only this one is internal frames. jQuery internal frame, iframe test, okay? So properly we have to change that, okay? So I'm using uh, jQuery UI.com only. 
and wait for the page title. Accept that uh, page title, current page title. And then, so accept it true also. I'm using on the same. Any one is enough. Not required both, OK? So I'm just for your practice purpose, I have given here a two. Assert equals how you can compare expected title with the actual title. Actual title you will always get from web driver methods. And uh, asset true also you can use. Whether this current page title contains your expected value or not, you are checking. That's it. Other than that, nothing. Same you are doing, both are same. Okay. That's a before all. Just opening the browser is enough for me. Then at the rate after all annotation, we're just closing the browser because this will execute at the end. This will execute at the end. So at the rate test, so test internal frames. Test internal frames. That's a test case name I have given. So click on auto complete link, driver dot find element by dot link text, auto complete. Just we are clicking on the auto complete link. I have shown you already here. So you click on the auto complete link. It's the one. Just click on that, it will go to next space. Here you can type. That's what the next step. To verify the next page title, address bar wait dot until expected conditions dot URL contains. So this URL, this URL I'm partially, that's why I'm giving URL contains. So we are verifying that. Then title contains autocomplete jQuery UI. So if you go to here, if you see head tag, See the page title. See title tag. So in between that, a uh, page title will be there. So that's the how you can validate. So next, after that main thing, we need to type right. We need to type. So I'm just uh, first fetching all the frames. List web element iframe list equal to driver dot find elements by dot tag name iframe tag. So then I'm finding out the number of iframes. So you can call the method as so I already have a method in the bottom side. So I switch to frame, I need to pass the web element I can identify or you can switch based on the index also switch to frame method, switch to frame method is there. So you can go here, so I declared here. See, switch to frame into frame or switch to frame web element frame. So these are the two methods, separate methods we created, right? We can say private. So private methods, so you should not make public. So if you're using one class, you have to make it private. So in this class only you can use it. So that's what I'm using here also. Switch to frame. Again, here also switch to frame, either this one or this one, both are correct. Then just waiting for the some time and then typing in the this edit box. See this edit box uh, address is, there is ID tags is there. So I'm typing there, see? I'm type a dot find element by dot ID, dot send keys, selenium. So then navigate back, driver dot navigate method dot back method. So wait dot until expected conditions dot URL to be. So URL, see here on the top, URL contains we used. The new method we are using URL to be. URL to be means exact URL you have to That exact URL we are validating here. Then I'm clicking on the accordion link. 
So that, that's it. Maybe if you want, you can validate. Uh, basically, when you switch back, and you'll come to home page, right? Now in the auto complete, if you switch back, and you will be in the pardon, but jQuery.com. Here you are. So this URL I'm validating. Then I'm clicking on this accordion link. If I navigate back, I can click on any of the link, right? Otherwise, it will be in the frame only. That I validated. By clicking on that, you can validate. So that's it. So we are not doing anything. And uh, so this is how internal frames are handled. Switch to frame. Driver dot find element by dot class name demo frame. Sir, where is this? So this is the one. You can go. Let me go and show you that time frame element. You can see I frame element. I frame tag. So this is the one. I frame class. This is the one I have taken there. I'll show you with both uh, no, this method and with this method how to run. So let's run this program. So this is the how to handle internal frames. See, one frame only there, one I frame. Now we get to the frame with ID zero. See, I'm going to use this one without uh, index, with a web element. This is a web element, right? With web element also, I can uh, switch. We have only one iframe. So you want still more wait time, you can wait. Okay, maybe a typing. So we waited. After that, it is navigating quickly. So for your observation purpose, if you want, you can wait uh, so that you can see that. See, that's the selenium is type. But if you don't switch, what will happen? So when it is going to type, let's see that. I'm going to comment this, switch to frame I'm going to comment, whether it is going to type or not, right? That's what we need to see. So let's run this. It failed. You can see it didn't type. See, it failed, but nothing is displayed for us. They're still in the same place. That what happened? Uh, let's run this. So we didn't get any error also.
Should be failed. So I'm just checking. Yeah, failed. You see, no such element exception. If you want to see complete uh, this, uh, you know, error message, just click on this. So stack trace, you'll get to know. No such element, no exception. Unable to locate element. So ID selector, this ID value, it is not able to identify because you didn't switch to frame because that is inside the frame. How you can find out? So which line you got an error? So carefully watch this. So here nothing is there, but you can find out your class name. Look for your class name. Where is your class name? Can you see here? Internal frames. Line number, you see that. Line number you can see, line number 82, line number 82, see, this is not able to find out. So very clearly saying, this is how you can debug, so where is the problem, okay? Yeah, so that's why you have to switch to the iframes. Without switching, it doesn't work out, okay? So without switching, it doesn't work out. Okay, please remember if there are frames, you have to switch to that frames. Yeah, so that's it. Let me stop this recording.